everybody. It's Matthew from McCroy Bros Bodybuilding MB3 and I'm here to address a topic that I've actually got a question about or that I've received a question about and this user um, wanted to know my opinion on using a deload week and in my opinion I don't really it's not that I don't believe in them but I just wouldn't do them I would say or here's how the question went uh, something along the lines of they're feeling sluggish, tired in the gym, they um, don't want to take a whole week off because, I mean, that's a week off of training and their gym, and I was thinking also you're paying for your gym membership, you don't want to waste that money, but they also, they just can't have enough energy in the gym, so they're asking me if they should do a deload week or what, how I think, what I think about that. And in my case, I would say instead of it doing a whole deload week, I would say try just taking one day, one extra day off from your working, from your working out. Just a one day completely off. Now this will allow you to rest more and not, I almost think of deload weeks or deload, deloading workouts, which is, if you don't know, just using lighter weight, even maybe a shorter workout, not as much intensity. But I almost think it's almost, it's just a waste. You know, you go to, you're driving all the way to the gym, you're just to kind of work your muscle not build them up any so in my opinion I just take one day off see how you feel that following day and I wouldn't even say do like a deloading muscle group let's say the one you just instead of taking one day off you one day deload like a muscle group like let's say you're doing shoulders or something because then your shoulders will kind of fall behind not that one day of deloading is going to make them fall behind, but just they might lack just a little bit. So I'd say just take one day off, save you for the next day. If not, take another day off. Anything more than that, I'd say you almost <laughs> just get some better pre-workout or something. So you got to get back in the gym. So anyway, that's my thoughts on deloading week. And the reason I decided to adjust it right now is actually because Doug's on vacation. And my gym membership is up, and we're thinking about switching to new gym, so I don't want to pay more money. Anyway, it's a whole big thing. I'm just doing this week working out at home. That's why I don't have too many working out updates. I actually just did a hamstring workout at home with some straight leg deadlifts, and I have this um, lying uh, hamstring curl. Anyway, the the reason Delo comes to mind is just because working out at home, especially by myself not too much motivation and these workouts are almost consisting of like I only did two exercises I did more sets like seven sets but I'm just doing a little bit less the intensity isn't quite all there no spotter for motivation and help so it's almost like I'm doing a deload week which I don't believe in because first of all I don't need it I'm still young and ready to work out at all times but um, that's just how I am at home there's not much more motivation to work out at all at home so yeah and then I'm in my swimsuit at the pool out there already so yeah there's not too much motivation to work out I've still done it but anyway I'm rambling that's my thought on deload weeks you guys can make sure to check out the Facebook page plenty of pictures videos there make sure to like us on Facebook and speaking of liking us on Facebook, if you like the video, you can go ahead and like the video, triple like. You can throw it in a comment and even subscribe. So remember, there's always more on the way. So, stay tuned.